Uh, this is Greg Vincent, editor of AgWeb. I'm talking to Craig Anderson, who's the VP of Operations for AgriLiant Genetics. And Craig, I want to talk about some of the supply issues that are out there. But before we get into that, just uh, explain a little bit about AgriLiant Genetics and, and who, who you represent. Sure. AgriLiant Genetics is, uh, is actually the kind of the background company for five uh, U.S. corn and soybean brands. Um, we have Agrigold, LG Seeds, Great Lakes, Wensman, and Producers Hybrids all in the U.S. And then we also have the Pride brand up in uh, Canada. And so AgriLiant Genetics is, is, the, is the company behind all of that. Okay. We, uh, we're seeing a, a pretty rapid progress in corn planting this year that we're maybe not used to, how quickly we forgot what that can be like here in the Midwest. But are there any concerns with supply issues from a, a seed corn standpoint out there as we're looking at this progress? Sure. I think uh, probably the most common, anybody who is doing South American winter production has probably experienced some slower delays in coming back from Chile. Uh, interestingly enough, almost none of that for us is related to the earthquake. I would say that generally speaking, uh, we had some uh, moderate temperatures during the day and cooler temperatures at night, and the crops started to finish off a lot slower than expected, and so we got delayed a little bit. Uh, conversely, most of our Argentina production actually came back in, in uh, very normal, very, very good time. And so I would say our supply disruption is very minimal based on, on our winter production. Okay, that's supply disruption. But what about, uh, is there any, t are you seeing any indication that some people might be pushing up those corn acres as they're getting more corn in quicker than they have in the past, and maybe taking some of those plant soybean acres back to corn? I would say based on uh, just information coming from our brands out in the field, um, anytime you have an early spring with uh, really good planting conditions like we had for the last eight, ten days before the rain, um, you're going to see a lot of corn going in the ground very rapidly, and generally that bodes well for corn acres. And so I would uh, suggest that corn acres will be a little bit higher because of the early, fast-paced spring we've had. Okay, now couple that with some of the agronomic conditions we've had here the past few days where we did get that rapid planting in, but pretty heavy rainfalls now moving through the Midwest, and looks like that could be sticking around a little bit yeah. for the next couple of weeks. Uh, if we do get to a situation to replant, it may be too early to talk about that yet. What, uh, what plans are in place to deal with that then? Sure. I would say that, uh, you know, this season uh, could, could end up like any other season. Last year we had a, a bunch of that late season rain. We planted a lot of corn in uh, late May and early June even. Um, but the way it's going right now, I think a lot of the early planted corn has actually already germinated. And so we've see, we see some corn we can roll already. Um, there were some rains, I would say, in the southern half of the Corn Belt that were a little bit uh, excessive for, for what we would really call ideal. But most of the area got between half an inch and, uh, and two and a half inches and actually was, uh, was absorbed pretty well. We were getting to be, getting to be a little bit dry even. So. Right. Now, if you're a farmer that's out there looking, that's planting one of your five brands there that's looking at either increasing your acres or they're concerned about replant, what are you telling them that they need to be doing right now? Well, as early as the season is, we have the luxury of uh, continuing to, to move seed around. Um, and so if, if people are needing extra seed, we've been able to actually get that in 24 to 48 hours delivered. And so for the most part, we, uh, we have a good supply of things in the right maturity yet uh, for early planting. And then we'll see what happens as the season develops. All right. That's Craig Anderson, Vice President of Operations here at AgriLiant Genetics. Thanks, Craig. Yep, thank you very much.